What's going on, y'all? Welcome to episode four of Sync Music Mondays. My name is Jerome Smith, also known as JS, aka the best. And I gotta give a special shout out and introduce my co-host, the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, K Sparks, also known as Kyle Hunter. What's good, my brother? What's up, brother? What's going on, man? Everything healthy, man. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm just, you know, doing what I do. We don't make moves, we make movements. That's it, that's it, man. Billions, billions, man. That's it, that's it, that's it, man. So, we here, man. Look, episode number four, Sync Music Mondays, man. Every Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, across all platforms. Shout out to all the listeners. Shout out to all the artists, entrepreneurs, managers, publicists. Everybody that's tapped in with us, man. We tapped into y'all, man. So, shout out to y'all, um, everybody. You know what I'm saying? There's no us without y'all. So welcome. And uh, as always, we start off with the word of the day because that is our setup here. So what is today's word of the day? Here we go. The word of the day is collaboration is greater than competition. I'm going to say it again. Collaboration is greater than competition. I feel a lot of times people feel like they're an island to themselves. Uh, they really don't network like they should. Sometimes they let ego get in the way. And you can't be like that. You got to build, man. You know, if you got a hammer, I got a screwdriver, we could build something. And that's the name of the game. It's like, just broaden your network. You know, if you feel that maybe the people that you've been working with, they kind of like just plateaued or they tapped out, find like-minded people. You know, your network is your net worth. We always preach that. We always preach financial literacy when it comes to monetizing your music. And the only way you can successfully do that is aligning yourself with the proper relationships. You know, that's what it is. It's like, you know, you've got great corporations, but when they do these collaborations, we see the magic that happens. So, you know, imagine when the NBA does a collaboration with, uh, you know, the Major League Baseball and all these other things, right? You just got two bosses coming together. So I say just view yourself as a boss because you are a boss. You're the boss of yourself. You're the boss of, of your business of music. And just formulate with like-minded people. I've had so much success, and Jay's done the same. We've had success collectively because of the the friendship and the brotherhood that we have, and just being able to build and, and pull our networks together. So do the same for yourself. You know, collaborate with great people, and you can do the same. And that is the word of the day. Yes, I'm loving it. That's what I'm talking about. So today, what we're gonna get into is, you know. Both of us collectively, we have a lot of placements, you know, but we're going to talk about how we got those placements and pretty much like the effects of, you know, the after effects of like, you know, having those placements. So you want to go first? Yeah, definitely. Um, So, I mean, there's so many like it's it's kind of hard. Like it's like, you know what it is? It's like it's like, you know what it is, man? Yeah, because it's like, yo, you, you put out an album. Somebody asked you, like, what's your favorite song off the album? And it, they all your babies. You can't pick your favorite babies, like. Uh, one of the one that I had was uh on Power with uh you know Fifty Cent show. Shout out to Fifty. Shout out to Stars Network. Um, I had a record that I did in two thousand and twelve. So this record was uh was fairly fairly dated. Um, you know I liked the record. I did it with my man Navi. Shout out to my brother Navi Beats. And, um, you know, we've been working together for a long time. So we just did the record, put it out. And, uh, you know, everything I do goes straight to the Internet. So did all right on the Internet. Nothing crazy. And then uh, years later, uh, my sync agent hit me up and said, hey, we got your song and power is coming out. It's uh, the, the DRE episode. That was when uh, Dre got killed in that episode. And song goes in there my phone is blowing up next thing i know shazams are going crazy my streams are going crazy um i got apple statistics on that one song general interest in that song increased literally 135,000 percent literally 
in the green for that one song, 135,000%. So to see that level of interest, you know, that's the magic of sync licensing, right? You can have a song and you get paid on the front end because they'll pay you up front to use a record. And depending on how they use it, you know, that'll determine how much you get paid. So you maybe get 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, whatever it is up front to use that record. But then you also get paid on the back end because you get mechanical royalties, you get streaming royalties, you get downloads, you you know, people are shazamming your record. So that was like a viral effect that happened on that particular record. And, um, you know, like I said, shout out to my sync agent, shout out to, um, you know, my man Navi, shout out to Power 50, you know, that was a pretty dope moment. So, um, yeah, you know, so, so what about you, my brother? Tell, tell me, uh, tell me one of your, uh, since we talking about power, I mean, I might as well talk about my power placement. Uh, yeah, so I, yeah, power for power, bang for bang, yeah, but nah. So I would say uh, I forgot what season it was, but it was the episode where Fifty uh, he had to go back down to DC and he had to get his goons or whatever, and you know come back, you know, to New York City and did uh, the music for that episode. And one of the tracks was called "The Best." And it was featuring uh, my, my good man, my brother, uh, DJ Flex, and also my brother, Tony Rez, who passed away a couple years ago. Long live Tony Rez. Yes. So that, it pretty much was like a go-go record. And it's rare that you hear go-go in the sync world, but it just made sense because it wasn't necessarily a typical go-go record, but it made sense also the fact that 50 came back in the scene to dc so it just it made sense for the scene so when it happened it was kind of crazy because in the city because i'm from the dc area uh it was getting radio play and me and tony rez we actually uh we had an interview on wpgc the radio station they premiered and it was playing it so it was love on that end so we was getting you know shazams and you know the streams and you know the numbers everything was going up just from the radio station but then when it, once it actually aired that weekend things went crazy uh, different music supervisors, you know, they was reaching out asking, uh, what exactly is this type of music and can you send more of that? Like, whatever that is, can you send some more of that? Because we don't know exactly, like, who can make that type of music, but whatever we heard, you can do that. So we need more of that. So basically, it just created more opportunity. So I took that opportunity and flipped it into other opportunities and got plenty more syncs based off of that one. So yeah that that's fire that's fire bro and i love it because it's like it shows you like you know the power of sync man especially once you get that right look that right strategic placement that changes everything that's a game changer man you know so that that's dope man that's dope i had a um i had another one recently too um where there's this uh famous comedian her name is celeste barber and um she does like these viral videos like if any of y'all are not familiar with her just check her out like go on her social media instagram whatever so she makes fun of herself um compared to cool videos so like there might be like a, an attractive woman in a bikini in slow motion so she'll play that clip and then she'll do her own rendition of it but it's like it's just mad awkward and like you know it's, it's not sensual but she does these things and you know it's like it's um it's comedy basically so i say all that to say i did a record um with my guy dream chaos shout out to him um the record was called easy and you know record once again doing this thing or whatever spins and stuff like that but she takes the record and she puts it in one of her one of her um social media clips where like she's making fun of herself again and um, essentially, within three days, I think we hit 10.5 million views in three days. And the song just exploded again, like viral, like just that effect. Shazam's going crazy. Stream's going crazy. Download's going crazy. Just general interest. Industry music people just hitting me up like, hey, we want more of that. So, you know, once again, just showing the, the viral effect of sync licensing and someone using your music and your content and you being able to monetize that. And that's where the financial literacy comes in, because not only do we talk about the syncs on this platform to educate musicians, but we also talk about making sure that like you have your paperwork done as well, because that ensures that you're able to monetize these moments correctly. So for example, you know, we'll have a whole nother episode on pros. If, 
If some of you don't know what that is, that stands for Performing Rights Organization, whether that's ASCAP or BMI, that makes sure that your music and your content is properly registered. So when these moments happen, whether it be on the radio, whether it be on TV, whether it be film, any type of platform, you're able to monetize the fact that you wrote that music and you own it. So we'll get into that too, but you know, th this is how we're able to monetize on the front end and the back end right our music so you know that's 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 another moment you know jay what what you got brother i mean you got a million man so you know yeah nah nah come on man we both got a million and then we're gonna make we're gonna eventually get to that billy the billions yeah <laughs> yeah but now nah, I'm, I'm gonna talk about one that kind of presented another opportunity outside of music but it was because of music that i got this so uh recently uh the saints role game that came out i don't know few weeks ago a couple weeks ago i'm losing track of time but the newest saints row game um i had two tracks on the soundtrack of that and because of that um i basically got a voiceover gig in a game very similar to that i can't say it because i signed the nda but yeah but because i do other things outside of music i'm a voiceover artist actor all of that so basically they got hold of the music and was like can you just do an audition for these two characters that we have in this video game, which is, like I said, in the same boat. So if you know a similar game, I think you can kind of use your imagination and you will probably get it. But um, yeah, so I did the audition and uh, they liked what I did and there was no callback. It was just like, you know what? We like what you did. Are you available these dates? And these dates and these dates and i said yes and now i am a part of the cast of this video game coming up so it was because of the music and also i had to do my part obviously on the audition but because of the music it was it got my foot in the door to do the voiceover for this new game so yeah amazing man you know like, like they say man your gift will make room for you you know what I'm saying? So that just opens up other doors and and that's that's a major gem. That's a major key right there. Music is something that any musician can properly maximize and utilize that to pivot into other opportunities, whether that be sync licensing, whether that be, you know, um, you know, having your music played in department stores, because that's a whole nother other business model that we'll, we'll get into, too. Right. So there's, you know, there's always ways to monetize your music. So that's amazing, man. Like you know, just that's fire. Yeah. That's why I got to take advantage of every opportunity you can. That's it. That's it, man. You know, hey, go ahead. Give them another one. Another one. Another one. Like, well, like Callie said, another one. <laughs> God did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, yo, shout out to Callie, man. Yo, uh, <laughs> yo, um, I would say, all right. So, you know, for me growing up, man, I love Ralph Lauren. Like, that was my thing. Like, I had no cap, literally, no cap, no lid store. This is no cap, no lid store, right? I literally had probably like 50 polo Ralph Lauren shirts in different colors. I had like, oh, that was my thing, you know, because, um, I had like, you know, the, all the colors, the stripes, the regular, whatever. Like, I just had all kinds. So I love Ralph Lauren growing up. That was my thing. And, um, you know, it's kind of surreal that I actually had the opportunity. One of my songs, uh, shout out to my guy Cursor over in Paris. Um, we did this record called Slavin, right? And uh, that record got picked up for a promo campaign in conjunction with Kicks and Polo, where they were playing basketball, they hooping it up. So it was just pretty dope to see like my music in that space, like with a product that I loved, you know, growing up that I just love rocking, you know, like that was pretty fly, man. You know, and once again, that that viral effect, that song started picking up. So it's like, you know, I feel like music licensing sync licensing it's pretty much like cpr for a lot of records that people do like it can breathe life into something that you might have did 20 years ago you know we we're seeing that right now with um with the stranger things a lot of these records that these music supervisors are, are putting in these modern shows songs that are like 40 years old 30 years old they're exploding. They're going back into the billboard charts. So that's why sync is so important. And we talk about financial literacy for your music, because that definitely can impact the trajectory for your career and you can monetize it. So, you know, just because a song is old, don't count it out. 
You know, all that means is that it wasn't the right time and maybe you, you necessarily didn't have the right connections or the right information, but that's why we're providing it to you to make sure you build those relationships within the community. We equip you with the knowledge so you can monetize your songs, whether old or, or new, you still have that opportunity to monetize. I love it. That's what I'm talking about. Got to monetize everything. That's it. Everything. Everything. Everything, man. That's it, man. So what's up, Jay? Give me another one, man. What, what you got? Man, this is the last one because we could be going, you know, for hours and days and months and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So now this is going to be the last one for me. Uh, I'm going to say, okay, ESPN. I would say the first uh, placement that I got on ESPN, which was, I think, uh, maybe like a 30 for 30 documentary or whatever. But Whatever it was, um, the song that got placed, it had a sports themed, uh, everything was sports themed throughout the song or whatever. So it, it really fit whatever the documentary was. But that led me to be able to basically produce a couple albums that was just sports themed. And ESPN has been using them because of that opportunity. ESPN used them constantly every single day, whether that's on first take. Uh, any of the different you know talk shows that are on ESPN and then because of just ESPN once you know it got you know it came out now it's like on the NBA network TV that's uh on TV the NFL uh their network NHL like all of those channels they are using songs from that album so pretty much like I said every day there's something on one of those platforms that my music is in so like I said, I'm just, you know, whatever opportunity I can, I'm just going to at least get my foot in the door and then I'm going to break down the door. And then guess what? I'm bringing everybody with me. So that's what we're doing. That's it. That's it. That's it, man. The teamwork effort, man. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. You know, there's no no selfish mentality. Now, I love that, man. It's like, you know, that's community. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's strength in numbers, man. So... That's fire, man. Like you said, man, yo, we could go on and on all day. Yeah, yeah, but we don't have that type of time, and I know y'all don't have that type of time. Yeah, man, you know, and, and ultimately, like, we, you know, this is just motivational because, you know, we just want to show to every musician out there this is attainable, it's something you can do, and that's the reason why we do this, to motivate y'all uh, to basically fill a void. Like, there definitely was a void here um, in terms of people that look like us, that talk like us, that are successful, and, um, you know, not trying to, to be predatory and take advantage of artists in the process. You know, like, that's not what we're about. So, you know, we really want to pay it forward, man. And that's what this is about. Community and seeing y'all win, man. That's all. Yes, I'm loving it. So, that's it for episode four. Guess what? Episode five, we got something, got something in store for y'all. But y'all got to stay tuned till next week. That's it. That's it. Y'all know what it is, man. Sync Music Mondays. We are here. Shout out.